I wanted to talk briefly, have the selectmen and the finance committee spend a few minutes just talking about uh, maybe setting or look, talking about priorities in town instead of just coming up and all of a sudden faced with, you know, let's do this, let's do that, let's mm -hmm. do something else. So I thought it would be a good idea to broach the subject. I'm sure there will be no resolution, but you know, somewhere along the way, maybe we can uh, talk about it. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to talk about oh. is the possibility of, of uh, putting a, a motion on town meeting floor to establish a town building committee with the authority to be responsible for buildings that are built in town so that they can, somewhere along the way, we need to have some one group who's responsible for that, and not have this group over here doing this building and this one over here wanting something in some other building. Let's see if we can get to a town building committee. Other towns would that, would that include like wastewater treatment? I don't know if it includes wastewater treatment. If you were building a building, it might. Or it might include wastewater treatment. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's here. a capital expenditure. I'm not sure we want to limit it just to buildings. Well, that's the question. Do we want to limit it just to buildings? It's, or that? it's a big ask it for is. people to do. It is. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I mean, the, the school roof was an example of one. Oh, yeah. Where did that come from? Um, and now, now we've got something going on at the frontier. frontier. Uh, not building itself, but certainly some of it's building related. So I don't know. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Some of the things that, that wastewater treatment could be building related. Could be. But there's, there's a limit to what you can discuss because the select board meeting was not posted to be a joint meeting with the finance committee. No, it's the finance committee meeting. It is. And <clears throat> members, I think yes, the board of selectmen can certainly come and talk. But not think. They can't. Deliberate. <laughs> well, that'll never happen. Uh, can, I, can I bite my tongue? He and I worked that out. We worked that out earlier. But, I guess I won't um, say anything. If you want to get to my stuff, I need to go. What's that? I'll be leaving to go to, to their meeting. So, so oh, okay. Just, you know, so, we'll review, problem, my, review things that I can answer best, I think, if you want me to. Okay. Uh, so, that's. Couple of things that I just want to talk about with the members. We got one. Is a building committee. Is another. Um, do you want to stay on that? Setting, setting some priorities. Right. We've okay. got the selectmen have, I think, have voted. That's that's one. Okay. That's your, what, what do you call it? The selectmen's initiatives. No, we haven't voted any of them. But it, yeah. it's there's right. a, there's a bunch <coughs> sitting out there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, essentially two weeks ago or something like that was the first that I'd ever heard of it. Uh, we've talked about a lot of other things, and, you know, all of a sudden this budget shows up. Uh, so, I would like to see a set, we, we've, we've talked about, uh, Eligible housing. We've talked about senior center. We know that this building that we're in now has a life expectancy, and and we're on the short end of it. Uh, library. This, got a you got a library. library more. What are community the, center? Community center. What are the priorities? And uh, I guess that really falls to a large degree in the selectmen's lap. Mm -hmm. Whether they're competent to handle it or not is beyond the. I won't comment. <laughs> uh, well, so I, I'll speak. I, I believe that um, we should set priorities. I mean, we have all this stuff coming at us, you know, from all different directions, and there are priorities for some and not others. So it's hard to say what's the most important priority. I think, you know, in my mind. Flushing the toilets is like priority one. I mean, and, and getting fined by the amount of stuff we put in or whatever regulation that is coming down the road, I think that's still coming at us. So I do think, you know, and I'm glad we're working on the sewer study committee did, I think, settle on getting some experts in to kind of look at that a little bit and give some guidance on where we should go there. And um, so I'm grateful for that. And I'd like to get moving on that. That's a big priority of mine. Um, and I'll just speak for myself. Um, 
seniors are, are a big priority is, as well and um, I feel like we're kind of hanging on that building over there and we still don't really have an idea of what we're going to do when we get it if we get it um, but that's that's going to take some money and um, I don't really know the process and how you go about doing a lot of these projects because I'm fairly new with this you know another big priority that I have is have always wanted is to clean up our you know our sidewalks because that's probably the number one complaint I get just from people talking is is that you know the sidewalks are awful they need to get refinished and and I personally would like for an economic economic reasons to clean up Elm Street as it comes in with the Cumberland Farms coming into town I'd like to see some nice street lights and it is pretty dark when you're driving down there if we could light that up a little bit more and clean up the sidewalks make it a little more inviting for business owners that when I did uh, the study we're working on the study with the FERC hog of economic development for downtown that was a big issue of the people the building <coughs> owners of just how the how the sidewalks look and the atmosphere of that street and you know they may invest more in their buildings if we invested a bit in our street so kind of coming together on that and I think we're working on a plan to do that um, so that's a, a priority I know the library is a huge priority for a lot of people in town and, and not for others because they don't use it so but um, they've been doing their homework and doing the right things and getting getting the stuff planned out and trying to follow all the rules to to kind of make that happen and I think we should expand the library whether the town votes for it or not I, I don't know but but that is a big chunk of money coming at us and if, if it if the town decides to go forward with it um, but I guess the, the question that I have you brought the library up mm -hmm. where does the library sit in the big picture uh, I think they're all pretty important I don't, I don't know I mean I don't know some well, depending on who somebody's going to set some priorities some some priority has to be number one well and it's also who's right. who's prepared to go you know I mean we John who's Gordon's done their homework that time so, uh, that did the capital improvement plan that you went to Northboro Northboro yeah. thank you nice Northboro John Kader Northboro other John Kader yes. we have we have the information from Northboro mm -hmm. and they have they've done it we don't need to recreate I the loved wheel it. loved it Northboro if you look at that they show you cut and dry plan how to prioritize mm -hmm. your needs shall we say mm -hmm. in town and they run right down through and they have it listed out and they have like about five items that you can use guidelines to take every project you're talking about and plug it into where it fits like a grading system and kind of thing? no question about it and that Great. will that way it eliminates the emotional arguments mm -hmm. and it takes cut and dry criteria plugs it in to where they belong and it will give you a list it'll help you establish what are the true priorities of this town mm -hmm. and that goes to what I've been saying for quite a while here long-term planning mm -hmm. and I really think if you take a look at that take a close look at that and if people want to get serious about it that's a plan of action that mm -hmm. could work very well, I think, for for the town of Deerfield. At least give give us a basis of a starting point. Mm -hmm. And because, as you were saying, Trevor, everybody has different wants and needs and so on and so forth. But I think as a town, we really need to establish what the needs are and what the wants are. Mm -hmm take care of the needs first those should be top priority and the wants if we can afford to do them great let's do them if we can't afford to do them immediately then that means we can't afford to do them immediately we might have to put them off for a few years but I, I think if you spend a little time and you take a look at at that model I think it would really clear the air very nicely so several of you have some familiarity with that or yeah, I just I've seen it a little bit. I yeah. sent that around. I, just, I sent it around. We went to the uh, and told me about you the Amherst training. You yeah. went to the Amherst training. Yeah, yeah, you and I went. Yeah, yeah. Bruce, Bruce and John went to yeah. the presentation. It's just it's a criteria. Yeah. Uh, like, is it safety related? Mm -hmm. Is it uh, appearance related? Education welfare. Fits right. 
you take those and it creates a priority out of them. Yeah, and also it looks at readiness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Where are you? Where do you think you'll be in the next two or three years? What do you need to do to get there? Mm -hmm. So it's a thought process that it is. we haven't done. We, we have not done that. And I think that's more important, as important as mm -hmm. some of the other things. You know, we've got a capital improvement planning committee, and I think it's name drawn. Yeah, it's smaller projects. It's not, of the no, papers. but it's also not planning. No. It's capital improvement approval, approval committee. Right, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't it's really not plan. Money. Well, <clears throat> well, the charge doesn't mm -hmm. really go, the, the bylaw charge does not go into that kind of right. depth of Right. Course. Well, the planning board charge mm -hmm. does by statute. But do they do much planning? That's just that's the very few of them do. <laughs> but no, they but that's what they but that's what they by should statute, by the statute the planning board is supposed, is supposed to do that. To part. Do the planning for the town. <clears throat> but it's, yeah, okay. I've been I've been saying for Planet. some time, and Skip, you touched on a couple meetings ago here. Uh, you know, with the finance committee. And I don't know if that's our role or not, but it would really be nice if we could get the major players in town together. And actually sit down and have a couple of sessions about this long-term planning and priorities and that. And uh, it might not be the easiest discussion, mm -hmm. but I think we really need to have an open and honest discussion yeah. in town here, and have your major players involved and see if we can get ourselves at least in agreement to a starting point in where we should head. A roadmap, right? Yeah. You know, I, I just. I hate to see us in situations where sometimes we're doing things kind of like a knee-jerk reaction to it. And a lot of times you end up, when you do that and you make that a habit, you have a tendency not to be spending money wisely. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I've experienced in the past. So that's... Chip, you want to do better than Throw something in? No, I'm still just taking it all in right now. Right. Well, I agree with that. I mean, I think... Would love to have the the help, you know, to do that. I would, I'd offer any help and insight I can, but um, you know, More get the brain trust together. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm happy to distribute those materials. Everybody, mm. they were good. They yeah. really know what they're yeah. doing. And well, it, it's like the king of the, in the country of doing these plans. So. It sounds like um, but the town. It sounds like the town's interest in, in a planning position. Mm -hmm. Planning yeah. position. Good segue. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, well, I was going to say, we do have... And, and that's going to be, that, that'll be the leader of the group if this goes forward. Yeah. Right. They're going to be the one that directs... If what goes forward, what Skip wants. What Skip yeah. wants. <laughs> and suggesting. What uh, suggesting. suggesting. Um, and um, developing um, the needs assessment based on the town of North, uh, North mm -hmm. criteria. I mean, there's a lot of work for it. There is a lot of work there. And it's not somebody that can be done by volunteers. Right. I agree with that. You need an outside look at it. Mm -hmm. You need to be focused. You need to actually function as an independent and then bring it back to the group. Mm -hmm. so, not that I think we should have one, but... How many of you have met Diana, who's filling, helping out right now with our lo lowered staff? Um, have you all met her? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So she and I actually said, when you get back, she's gone for the week. Um, let's sit down and start looking at these things and really do a real sort of major projects, hypothetical cost schedule for that. Um, you know, we just start bringing, just as you're talking about. Um, have something to have a conversation around and then fill in, the, fill in the gaps, which you already talked about as well, the criteria mm -hmm. to evaluate things and look at them and what, was, what you know, as you've said, in terms of uh, resources are available to us, that's another criteria, you know, what's out there for yeah. grants for culverts or grants for libraries or grants for school improvements or whatever there is. So, okay. Uh, we're waiting for Carolyn to take. This is finance committee. Yeah. We're going to move into the select board. Okay, you can sit here for now. Sure, I don't know if she's going to get here. But we're going to convene out there in a few minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Mimi sure. sure. Clancy. R E E N I E. C L A N C Y. Just visiting. Thank you. Well, I would second that 
you know, your thoughts of getting together a group to do it. It's hard, like as you said, it's hard for a volunteer board to kind of put all of that together, but we would need the input of all of our volunteer brain trust to kind of get, get that stuff um, figured out. But yeah, I agree, it would need to be somebody that's dedicated to putting that together and then Maybe. objectively looking at it and bringing it back and that's a good idea to have a plan or do that. Well, I disagree. You do? Why? Yes. Well, look at the job description. It's really focused on, um, it's actually my responsibility, the town administrator's responsibility to convene that and provide administrative that, services that's to fine. everyone. That's um, fine. But uh, because the planner is um, really, the way it's been designed is two parts, really land use, helping all our planning board, our ZBA, our conservation commission, working with the inspectors, working with the customers, Working with businesses and um, on around, you know, just doing what we have to do by law and by our own, by our own bylaws, and also looking at our bylaws to streamline and look to the future. Um, what, as our ch needs have changed as a community, uh, demographics change, or in age and whatever it is, to, can we make our bylaws more workable for the community? But the, if you know, you've read through it, this job. This is the position description that the personnel board uh, recommended and the uh, select board has also seen it and looked at it. Um, uh, it's Everyone supports this. I, I responded to other people coming to me. This isn't my, I, I do support this as well, but it came from a variety of people saying we really need someone to do this and this encompasses all the things plus more that we need. We need a lot of help with our, um, our lend you sports and training and education and um, administrative tasks as well. Um, and we need someone to be a point person, in, as I said, the way that in many ways the Kalashevsky has been for several years as a building commissioner. Um, I think we'll still need that support because some of, a lot of the information, the, the historic knowledge is very important and anyone mm -hmm. who'd likely get tracked to this position, I, unless they live in this town and are you know, an expert <laughs> planner, and even if they do, they may right. not have that kind of historical knowledge that you know, many of you were around this table have in that okay. So mm -hmm. at any rate, um, see this more as a traditional planner supporting those efforts and also working to bring some of these big, I, I see why you're saying that, but. Um, no, I, what I read here though is it says Bayer's primary responsibility for implementation of the local comprehensive plan and master plan? Right. So what is the local comprehensive plan? I don't know. <laughs> it was what the you master plans were called master plans. And I don't know when the town last did one, but I assume it was in what resulted yeah. Yeah. what resulted in, a long in time. the last change in bylaws or substance substantive change in the bylaws. So um, so, so is really that where, where you came up with having that person lead the process? I was just saying, just when I read this, I thought, but typically when I've worked with planners, they're, they're more than just land use people. Well, that's but, half the job. Right. And the other half of the job is community development, and that's the part you probably worked with those folks, right? Both. The business part. And, I actually uh, work with both. Yeah. Um, but well, we, we have the need. If, 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 you, if, if you feel that the town administrator's responsibility is to lead the, the town in prioritizing the project, that's fine. I have no problem with that. That's something we can get on right away. Well, not this week, but... Thanks. <laughs> I've already been doing it, so, I mean, there's, there's... I'm, I'm enmeshed in it anyway. I mean, my, my priority in this piece here is economic development. I really want mm -hmm. someone, and that's where I want to see, or would like to see, uh, the primary responsibility of the, this person, and I'm not seeing that. I want somebody that's going to go out, well, I want the number one job responsibility is to go out and beat the bushes and see if we can find some way to replace some of those jobs that have been lost over the last 20 years in town. Um, we don't do that. We don't have the money in the budget. We don't have the money in the town to pay for some of these things. Mm -hmm. That's a concern that I have, and that's my number one priority. 
And then somewhere along the way, I want to know how that meshes with the uh, with DDIC and whether or not we need to change DDIC so that it has more response. You say no, but the statute this the statute limits them to industrial parks. <coughs> Park, parks. Well, maybe we ought to change what they do then. I don't know if you can. It may not be a state, but board. they can be a resource. There's there's knowledge and skills on that on that group. They're very interested in working with this position. Perhaps they can contribute to the cost of this position. I shouldn't say that. Talking about, but um, it's they're in there. They're referenced in there. Um, so um, anyway. Well, to that end, I will let you know that we have an RFP out for the remaining parcel at, at the Oxford site, um, and, uh, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we have a uh, next Thursday a, a um, briefing and a possibly a, probably a site visit if, if people show up for that, and then we have um, a few weeks later we'll have the deadline for the RFP submission. So we're doing things like that. Um, I, you know, just to add to what you said, Kip, I'm sorry, I mean, Skip, um, I think one of the emphasis on the land use part is, and I hear this not just from Kip, but from others, that taking a look at our bylaws and looking at them as whether they are um, too restrictive, some have said, um, could they be more inviting to the kind of economic development you're talking about? I, th I see that as a hand in glove kind of process. So. Um, it, that you have to kind of do that first. You can invite people in, but if your bylaws and regulations make it challenging, then you, you know. So it's 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 all of one. It's. A, I thought we had a committee working on the bylaws. They're not looking at zoning or personnel. They're just looking at the general bylaws. Personnel is looking at personnel. What about expedited? What about expedited? Expedited um, permitting. Permit. We have that. Oh, yeah, at just at the Is it just on that site? one yeah. site? Could it be expanded? I don't know. Where would it go? I'd, I'd, I'd hate to kind of see that, and, and I'll explain why. Well, I'll we, yeah, we the we the, 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 there's only <laughs> we been... We don't know why. <laughs> I know why. There's only <laughs> been <laughs> one... <laughs> there was only one time where the select board took control over some, all the things they were supposed to do, <laughs> and they didn't do any of it. They blew everything. And it was so bad that even myself and other members of the planning board were sitting in on that and says, how about the stormwater thing? Oh, don't worry, they'll work it out. Well, what the heck kind of response is that? They'll work it out. And the bottom line is nothing got worked. They even went so far as to file a plan with no numbers on it. You know, so. But prior to you, that, you know, it, prior yeah. to that process, so there was an excellent group of citizens that worked on the development of the Oxford parcel, mm -hmm. came up with some excellent ideas hmm. and some major job creation, senior housing, multiple uses for the parcel, and it just got blown off. But we, so because, like because we had expedited permitting, so it was put in the select board's charge to make whatever decision uh, was necessary. So they they found need to put a highway garage there. Hmm. Or somebody did. Or somebody did. We have to go to work. Okay. But uh, can we I don't see this as answering what Skip wants. Putting priorities on the No, this is, no, no, is, is going to be, else, no, this I believe this, well, this right. we just talked about is yeah. going to be Wendy's responsibility. But I think somewhere along the way, I think the discussion needs to be carried I on for no question. engagement uh, positions. I can do that. Please invite so. You, know you can review minutes and, like and other things and you and talk about the um, FERCOG thing, because I've got some budgets. Okay. Sure. Yep. I'll begin. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Wendy, so that we can get you out of here, what are the. What are the so on your on your list, the yellowed, um, the yellow highlighted ones are the budgets that we were planning to look at tonight. Mm -hmm. um, so contracted services is the first one, and that's one fifty nine fifty four ten, and that was one of those that I just handed out tonight. We need some time to look at this. 
they had the earlier versions of this? No. Um, no. Uh, the first no, 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 I, I did not. Uh, it's the first we've seen it. So. Right, because it's uh, been a it's work been, in progress. It's been a work in progress because things keep happening. But you were asking us to vote on a two hundred ten thousand. No, 10, no maybe not. Maybe not tonight. It's so get to the chairperson. So this budget has never been detailed out very well until the last couple of years. So you'll see that there's been an attempt to actually put dollars to each kind of line item that we could possibly Trying to be real have. transparent here. Well, <laughs> yeah, because, because as you can see, like even in 2017, we went over um, by almost, almost $50,000 um, in that budget, you know, um, because things were not uh, accounted for properly in 17, right? right in 17 so in 18 and in 19 we're doing our best to make sure that we have um, dollar amounts on the line items that um, we believe are um, costs associated with contracted services so yes there's a lot in there but not a lot different from what you saw in fiscal year 18 10 percent increase so so the biggest increase um uh, wendy and i were talking about this today um you do you want to talk yeah yeah please uh, <laughs> um uh the biggest increase is probably that is it the 12.5 that we should go to yeah. well that okay yeah. so um i'll just let's see the line. there it is um train okay land for solar services do you see where that is mm -hmm. Okay, so um, a few years ago, you know, the town has talked about putting solar installation up in the landfill for several years, and I don't know, two, three years ago, the town did get actually a grant and um, lost it to hire uh, Beth Ringblatt, and she did some work, and things didn't move forward. We may or may not be eligible for that another grant, but I would like to keep this as a safe appropriation so we can move that project along. Um, I've been told in the past that there were issues at the landfill and so we really couldn't move forward with um, a solar until we resolve those, but I've been told those are not a problem now. So Energy Committee's really excited about moving forward on that. It, not, it is a good time, what I understand, in the industry to, to go forward with a project like that. So I've put that in here. Um, there's some possibility we could get another one of those meta grants. Um, but I also have another idea for that meta grant if we do apply for one, which would be to take a look at um, the not working very well uh, uh, small wastewater treatment plant solar inst installation and resolve those issues. Mm -hmm. Speaking of solar and uh, wastewater treatment, do we have resolution on the solar no, problems at Old so. Deerfield? That's what I was just talking about. Okay. This would be to hire we, the grant, the meta grants, do you know what it stands no. for? Energy. They're small grants that state gives out for this kind of thing, like either hiring a, a special mm -hmm. specialist in this to help us develop our solar, uh, solar field, or someone who could help us really review the challenges at the, um, are they meeting without you? Uh, no, we haven't started. Oh. I just, um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't read the paper this today yet. And um, uh, Trevor just said that, um, you know, uh, the, about this article. So I just read it quickly. We, we, we anticipate getting stuff through grants. I mean, this is not, I mean, the reason why I, we going through the whole program is so that we can do this through grants because it's way too expensive for us. Yeah, no. it, it's just it's just that what's happening is the NRCS budget, which is where I have gotten money since 2005 every year for repair work. This is, is not going to be available to us, and you don't need declared events, which is a huge, huge thing mm -hmm. for NRCS. You just have to have an event, like on my phone. I can like June 7th and October 30th this year. We had two events that, if we had any damage, I could submit um, a request to the emergency watershed protection money for, you know, because of the, you know, the levels in the Deerfield River. But, so now we're going to have to work through FEMA and the state and, and the dollars are not question. available. That seems to apply that you were going to ask town meeting for money, but well, what, what, we what I wanted to do was to ask for 
fifty thousand dollars to put in a pot towards whatever we as leverage or a match for whatever we can go down the line. But as you know, there's no way um, we would be able to do anything within a year because of the permitting process alone is like ten months. So once you, we funded this fifty thousand, that fifty thousand would just sit there for a couple of years and then it would be available. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, it's important that they I have do. no idea what you're talking about. Well, if most most things need some kind of match. So I was hoping to appropriate fifty thousand dollars for emergency preparedness work in town. And the idea is that we would generate um, or apply for a grant. What grants are we applying for? Is there a list of those I can look at? Um, well, we're not sure what the MVP program is going to generate. What is that? Point. What's the MVP? Um, municipal Vulnerability Preparedness Grants. This is the program that I invited you guys to. Yeah. We that we all day. $15,000 to do that. And our goal with that was to set priorities and then we get certification by the state, which would put us higher up for certain grant programs, like culvert programs. And there is a culvert program right, right now. So, yes. um, and I will be applying for that, but uh, we're not probably going to have too much. Until we get certified, we're probably not going to be on the top of the list on that, because the two areas that are silted in are dead zones. So even though it's in a um, natural heritage, said it's a high priority area, it's, they've looked at it and said it's a dead zone, so it's not um, a high priority for the COVID program until we get certified. And then we can clean it out. <coughs> that 50000 do we need to do that this year, or could we do it next year? Well, we should do it this year so we're ready and say that we're... Is this what to say? So what it is, is we're saying that we're... Right. Um, but if, we're, if we're not going to be bumped up the list and that, you know... Yeah, but we don't know yet. Yeah. Because we're, okay. we're in the process of getting certified. If we're the first in the state to get certified, we're the f first couple in the state, then whatever monies they put in this program, we'll be able to apply for and we should get because we're way ahead. It's all this work that we've been doing through the Creating Resilience Communities Group since 2011 that was able to make us able to do this process very much expedited. And so the idea is for us to be prepared to reach out for these grants. And the first, our top priority in that meeting was this, um, that from Richardson's Chicana Kitchen, the country, Deerfield Country Store, over down to the Deerfield River. It's all silted in from that landslide in 2011. And every time we have a storm, we get up to 35,000 CFS in the Deerfield River. It covers Mill Village and it covers Route 5 and 10. So it's a very serious issue, and it does kind of, you know, eventually it will undermine the road. So it's not just a temporary plastic culvert next to the road. It will be the whole road that will go. So just trying to figure out ways that we can not spend town money to do the repairs, but to either use grant programs or other federal programs. It's just that, unfortunately, we're going to have to switch from NRCS, which has been extremely successful for us, just because their their budget's getting cut between 40 and 60 percent. What uh, we talk, you know, just threw out things, and, and uh, I think what we decided maybe was that what we needed to do was continue the conversation and, and maybe in a little bit more structured environment, but okay. not one where either the select board or the finance committee is doing their regular. Okay. So if we can get find a couple of hours on this <coughs> where we get together and talk about a few of these. Okay, so can I suggest that um, I, I'll join you. We know, I think things are kind of self-evident and yeah. you can put no, something can aside. Fine. But why don't we want to just go through this? And and I will tag team and explain the contractual services. I'm sorry. I just thought, would you I, like us to Trevor do that? Said that I, and Thank I haven't read the articles. So <coughs> I just wanted to say, don't panic. Um, it's, yeah, it's we're, not we're trying to hustle money. Okay. Yeah. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to ask for that back. <laughs> this is so <laughs> preliminary. <laughs> <when you leave. laughs> would you like to quickly do that, or what would you like to do? Network maintenance. You want to ask? Wow. Uh, what we did here is um, we haven't had a really good uh, IT assistance help here. 
and I'd like to go out to seek a, a good IT person. We don't have in-house, and we have kind of a flaky arrangement with how we get things fixed, and it's not, people are not satisfied, it isn't really satisfactory. So we're, we're um, getting what we're paying for, which is we're not paying very much, and we're having problems in it. Um, so this is, it could be much lower than that, but the, the main goal of this is to get a quality uh, IT consultant to help us keep our keep us going yeah, with I'm our not, technology. I'm not sure that John charges us for all the time that he's here. So if we actually had somebody who charged us for the amount of time that they work on things, I think we would be using this budget pretty. Right. Yeah. The original uh, school in Union 38 to have an IT staff. I've talked to them. I've tried to talk okay. to them about we the found administrators about sharing. Yeah, right. Part Please bring it up to them. I don't. They don't call back. Mm. It's, they're, they're, this is the, it's the same time. They have a farm. Okay. They won't even call. Well, they're, they they're devoted. They're devoted. It's sort yeah. of as different it technology. Me. Let me it just. Gets my heart, well, I tried to. I called and I emailed everyone. I'm not talking about the administrator. I'm talking about the texter, because we have that grant that we've had sitting here for forty-five thousand dollars, and we tried to make it work every which way. I still got it. Um, but I, you know, I, at any rate, we try to work through the school. So um, the problem with, and just to say this, although I do think we might be able to work something out, um, the school IT people are, are very much focused on like the students' laptops and things like that, and to, you know, um, other kinds of things than an office necessary. But they also do office. At any rate, any help you can give us, we'd appreciate that. Because we like the idea that other town administrators well, I think it's, it's a and I town. are about a share. We're already paying for it. IT. Yeah. yeah. Did anybody contact Franklin Tech? That's a good idea. In what? For what? Well, as far as IT and come and do an assessment for you and Okay. That. Well, so, I'll tell you about so. that. I'll tell you, I actually am having an assessment for free. That's being okay. done. It's through a state program. A uh, company's called Acuity, A-Q-U-I-T-Y. And they're coming out in two weeks, I think. And it will not be an in-depth, thorough analysis of everything, but it will. I will push them to give us much as much information as mm -hmm. possible. That makes sense. And I'm mostly interested. We we know what we're doing here. We've got a really good financial software. We've got our assessors are good. We're moving up our capacity there. Um, we need to just stay on top. You know, we're uh, Windows. They do stuff, and then they. They, they, um, it, it's gone, and you have to keep buying updates. You know, so um, you can work with old technology, but then at some point you can't anymore, and mm -hmm. that happens more and more quickly these days. So they'll give us, as they told me, a thousand dollars sort of snapshot, a thousand feet, not thousand dollars, thousand foot snapshot. But I'm going to push them for a little bit more and ask them for specific questions, partly because I really want to get a better handle on what our capital, our technology capital needs are, as I've heard we need, we will need a new server. I'm not getting very clear answers on when it's gonna absolutely have to be changed, but I'm hoping it doesn't happen until we have a budget for it. Um, but that could cost $20,000 or more. So I'm keeping my foot, but I'm gonna push, push them on that issue. So at any rate, this is really to, to develop that capacity. Any help you can give us in working with the school to, you know, share that kind of um, service would be great. Um, yeah, we are now paying very little for someone who's giving away his time, but um, has a different perspective than I think others do, um, police and financial on how we sh what how we sh what we should have on the computers. Okay, I just spent ten minutes on the top thing. A thousand so, more to talk yeah, about. Yeah, we were talking about just not the town office, the office issue. We're talking about highway environment, waste watching, and plant. Well, we've been mostly talking. Um, no, mainly just this part this, of the building. Yeah, uh, we've okay, got. So a, everybody will have their own budget for IT, or we'll try to hire one IT person. No, no, that's town. that's what this is. Is ten thousand dollars. Count is, all town issues. Not for schools. not the police. The police pretty much well, have that in their own in their own budget. The if right? they want the help, yes, but oh. they tend to want to have. They've got it work. They have a nice. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> well, no. They're not paying much because they have uh, good services from a, a source that is bare, barely costing them anything at all. Can we use that source here? No, it's it's no. police services, right? Sorry. It's primarily yeah, it's a relationship services. that they've built. So um, it's, it's not. Okay. I 
what you're looking at. We've got $80,000 here for FCAT funding. Um, do we need $80,000 for FCAT funding? Okay, where is that? Can we see that on some okay. other budget? I will explain it one more time. Why does it look familiar? FCAT gets money from our via our licensing agreement with Comcast. Mm -hmm. It's it's very specifically, it's it's two things that they get. It's capital, pro, capital, which is, um, is that the 50,000? Is it, where, where's the 80,000? No, it's it's well, done, last, and item, done last item. Okay, so, um, so that was the first year. Now, why is it 80 here? They got 80 and 18, it should only be. No, they get, this this is this is this, this is, is the their, capital. No, this is oh the the quarterly. This payments. is their quarterly. This okay. Is their budget. Well, I'm in negotiating. In addition, it's capital. What? In addition to this, is capital. There's right. capital That's what I'm designated in the line. I said I started yes, before. Yes. Then they get the quarterly right. payments, okay. and I'm a little bit negotiating with them right now. So, um, on that. I'm asking them for a budget so we can yeah, know. Yeah, I think we want to have a budget. Yeah, I've been asking him, and he does. Yeah. And I, you know, I thought you would want that, but I, I've been asking for it. So we don't get this back like we do the capital. It comes right from no, the Comcast license agreement. It's right. not our money. It's, it's it's our money, but it's designated so for uses for peg access. So the net cash outflow because of this is zero. Well, you can have, we're gonna have, yes, and we're in gonna fact, have a revenue we, item for it. We get right. some we, income. We, we actually keep some of it. it yeah, we get more than what we pay out. So we're gonna get more than eighty thousand back. Mm -hmm. We don't, it's not that we get it back. We it's get the huge, quarterly payments from Comcast, and it fluctuates. This one is not. Is that the subscriber fee, or it's the other one? I it's can't the remember. Other one. Okay, so it's 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 a formula, right. somewhat right. a formulaic, but basically it comes out to a little over twenty thousand dollars a quarter. Yeah, money in. Correct. And then we ask them to give us an invoice. So, it, but it is designated for operational services for community <coughs> access, and they get those fees from. Sunderland and Waitley as well, and maybe Conway. Sunderland has a contract. Yes, and I am trying to get one done. <laughs> I'm wondering my Comcast bill is so high. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think this has nothing to do we with got, that. Wow, it's all Comcast. <laughs> Service charges are on there. They're all on there. You can see how much we have to pay. And then some. Yeah. <laughs> Twice in some cases. Yeah. Okay, okay. any more questions? So, okay. I was going to say, the, right, the, so. the only other um, line item that's really different from last year's budget was the training and professional development line. Um, and we've talked about that. Um, we don't really have, we've not had that um, at all. And we want to begin a performance evaluation program with employees, and I think we need training around that so we do as consistent among departments. Um, uh, uh, supervising and then um, evaluating people and setting goals and staff and all of that. So that won't be that expensive. I don't didn't we put money in the personnel budget for this? Not for, no, that training? was for their own, that was for their own training. going, the personnel board to go to personal association events, that kind of thing. Um, and the other part, we haven't done and we should be doing an anti-harassment training at least every two years. I don't know when the town last did one. Perhaps council could put that on for us, um, but those are the two that are on my mind. Um, but we're we're you know I don't want to. We have a personnel handbook. We that is what the personnel committee is working on. That they've been working on various committees over the last since Skip was on it uh, before I came as the interim six well, years ago. We don't have a. One. We have bylaws that I'm trying to move us onto a policy but, book. We have various policies. Is to collect everything in one place. So we're so, hoping to move to what you're suggesting. If, if a employee wanted to look at <coughs> their employee handbook, is there such a thing? We, they, the would, rules and regulations they would look employment? at at this point until we can, we were about to get there five years ago and didn't happen. But what we give them, what they have, is um, we have the bylaws right now. And that captures most things. And then we have various policies that have been adopted. We're trying to pull it all together and update it because in the last five years there's more policies and more things that need to well, be added. Yeah. So that's what the, that is the major task of the, um, and now that the compensation plan that's a part, that is personnel what the personnel committee? board, yeah. Well, I think that needs to be 
Well, we, the, the original document was prepared by Don Jacobson that we were working with that I thought we were bringing to town meeting when I was here five years ago. Yeah. We might have gotten it to town meeting, but... And it went through the personnel board, and then Pardon, that yeah. entire board quit. <laughs> About one person stayed. And <coughs> so we, I'm hoping to move these long-standing projects forward and get us into a place where you'll go. Uh, you ask me that kind of question, say, yes, we do. That's my goal. <laughs> okay. Question. Yes. King Services File yes. Consolidation Organization. Okay. I would think once a I, once a process has been developed to file things, you wouldn't need to reinvent the wheel by coming up with a new process. So, do they? I mean, they don't do actual they, filing. They right? actually do a major um, board reorganization file system. They they Hasn't did the that first. Been done? They just did. Everybody reordered. That's the problem. There's multiple people's systems. So, at any rate, I mean, we 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 can access information, but it, it needs to be. So the ten thousand we appropriated for two thousand and eight. That was for was not enough to do the whole thing. No, it was a actually a thirty thousand dollar proposal, and I think Barbara presented that to capital planning initially when King gave us. I assume it was Barbara. It might have been Duck. I'm not sure because that's when this whole thing started, and it, it was a three part three year proposal ten thousand dollars approximately per year and they already they did the first part which you're referring to John um, which was to clean Just out this room. this room here had files and files and files and they clean that out and they organize yeah, that it's and, amazing and the difference. for months you saw lots of empty old file cabinets after they graduated left they were from in here <laughs> um, we need to finish what was done with what was put in the green trailer still trying to get a handle on this stuff. There's been so much transition and the selectman's office. This is primarily the selectman's office. Which but, is but, you know, a lot of things are in there. Yeah. This this ten thousand um, CIPC was given a, a proposal from Barb for um, uh, for digitizing all of the uh, annual town meeting minutes. Right from, um, from 1950, 1950 on. on. Right. Um, so and she's hoping to get some CPA money. No. She was, that. but she no. can't. That did not work out. Right. Correct. And the initial dollar amount she she received was <laughs> larger than what she actually needed. So it ended up falling underneath the ten thousand dollars. So C CPI or the capital improvement couldn't uh, address it basically. Right. Because right. under the ten thousand, so it went back to Barbara and Brenda, and they worked this out. Right. So, so it's in this budget to do some of that, and hopefully start something right. in the selectman's office to start organize, organizing those records too. So that's the ten thousand for fiscal nineteen. And it does make sense to me, anyways, as far as what I viewed there to be able to have those records digitized it's just so much easier than going in there physically and trying to go through well, three you, different file you systems. Would, you would be able to to do a search for a, right. for a word and well, and it would pull up pull, pull it up. right up. Exactly. So the Very the tiny. amount of time right. it would save in the research that's being done is I think uh, we should call this the Bruce St. Peter's project. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's for know, his spends a lot of time in the vault doing a lot of research on the um, anyway, um, what else I, do you want to talk about? Right? I guess we asked, we sat here and asked the library to get theirs down yes. because it was not fair to for us to ask other departments to, to like get their budgets at a two and a half percent increase and then I forget what the library originally came in at, but it was very high. And they went back to the drawing board and reduced it. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are now at the town hall. Wants a, a, almost 11 percent increase, and we're asking all the other departments for two and a half percent. Well, this actually is so, multiple, multiple departments. So it, it, it but it's benefits. still two and a half percent over that. And I just, you know, I, how how the other department heads going to feel? It's like. I don't Are we think playing have favorites? A, I don't, no, I don't think you're going to have a problem with it because really there's so much in here that benefits. The, the thing with the library too, John, was 
you know, we were looking for level services and what they presented originally did not come up with level services. That's, that's, that's true. That's why the increase yeah. was as Correct. far as the yeah. percentage. That's true. I think this is a little different where people aren't looking for additional hours or whatever the case may be. Uh, I understand your point. How do you justify one to the other, but. So let me ask you a question on this one. The, uh, again, the FCAT funding for <clears throat> it says FY17, and yeah, I assume this yeah, is not FY funding no, for No. No. Uh, what happens if we put zero dollars in there? Uh, then where are you going to pay for it out of? Where are you going to pay for what? Out of the money the they FYI send in. Out of the money they send in. When we can't. The money that, that gets contract. sent in has to be sent, put into revenue. So where are you going to put the expenditure for it? All right. When we the revenue? She's talking about the book. It comes right in as a check. Your local receipts. So when we do the budget to see if we're meeting, pro meeting <coughs> Proposition two and a half, that their 80,000 is in the estimated local receipts. So it doesn't affect Proposition two and a half. Right? Correct. You're saying that right? Correct. It's a wash. It's a wash. Okay. So there is 80,000 in local receipts. There is 80,000 or thereabouts in local receipts. Yes. <coughs> or there will be. And it's a declining. Uh, Did I sorry, hear sorry, right that mind. that number could change? You were in the negotiating yeah, process for that. Yeah, it's not going to change that much. Though. But just that's not going to change. That's the expectation of Well, my years, my next question was going to be: I Do we put this on hold until we get that number? No, no. But you're saying that's not going to it change. Changes, it's not going to go up. I'll tell you that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I like that. It's not going up. Well, it's up 11 percent. Um, I'm, I'm troubled by that. Mm. It's and plus with a four well, a four thousand dollar reduction. Where did it come from last year? How did it go from seventy seven to eighty? Do you know? What are you talking about? The uh, the FCAP funding. Uh, it was originally okay. So in fiscal seventeen, we were still paying nineteen thousand and fifty dollars right. per quarter, if I remember right. And how, so that how was did it the go up? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, they just signed the contract. So long ago. We signed the license agreement. Right. But that this, would, this, well, would have we would get, so much. I know my rates on I don't, it, 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 um, okay. Is this amount per, there's two things, there's, okay, go ahead. There's two items that I have questions about. Uh, yeah. Sewer utility billing is now a negative 39 point. That's correct. It, was, so it is, the dash is way over in the left. So yeah. soft right charges us a total of 49,126. Yeah. And the sewers specific utility building billing module is three thousand nine hundred and eighty one dollars. So that is in their budget. It went to their budget. Correct. Okay. And then we ended up with a um, seventy five percent increase on access GIS editor. Um, oh, where's it at? Let's see. Uh, this is, okay. so this is what you've had for years. You used to have the PWIM. It's money the town put aside a long time ago, and, and there's been interest. This was to map, you know, the, the water. The, well, all of it. Actually, we had brought the water department folks in mm -hmm. the meeting. Um, the assessors wanted to do this. Bruce was, the other Bruce was very interested. Well, like I said, we've been trying idea, to do right? this for years. So they said, let's do it. You know, they, they got the money appropriated. So this is actually, this, this is an article, right? So the money had been no. appropriated. It's not an article. No, no. Okay. The, the, the money for the GIS system with all the mapping was appropriated, I think, in 2013. And it had as a separate article. So it had been carried okay. forward That's and carried I'm forward and carried forward. And Wendy said, why do we still have this? Let's do something about it. So we're in the process of completing that system with all of the information that we need um, for our infrastructure. And apparently, the, the cost per year, I think, for the initial year, is 1950 to keep that up to date. So that's which one are we talking about? Karen, now the, uh, Karen has the information about Karen. Avis GIS. Yeah. Access GIS. Yeah, Access. and this will help Swimming. our our you know. So it is 1950 is what we're. That's what that's what Karen found in the contract. That's that's what we see for fiscal 19. So. And, and so this here's is this, this water is, district and sewer district. It, it, to the so extent that the, we both water districts want to participate, yes. And they, sewer, it should be all our pipes 
as much as we I understand. Can. So they're going to put money into it. I believe they did before. That's why they, they were at this meeting. This is what Bruce St. Peter's told me, that they had made some contribution in to some way to, to when, we, when we put the 2013 money aside. That's the, that is what I have been told. Okay. But also I understand that um, the Deerfield Fire Water, whatever it's yep. called, that is the water district, also has done some complementary work to the with this as well that has some value um, but again separate so just have limited information about that the goal well anyway right. too bad uh, will he spruce on this committee yeah he, he would exactly. love to talk about this <laughs> okay um, well, definitely about that i just want to make sure that you know if we've completed what we need to complete for our assessors this money is all going to be for the districts. Mm -hmm. Highway department, unless they're going to do roadways. Yeah. Well, they're going to do. Well, I'll be back in a minute. Manholes, yeah. cash basins, all of that is part of this. Okay. Um, what else is bigger here? General code, no. Is it's it? It's really pretty much no, that's the assessor's mapping. There really is no flaw in this budget, i got to tell you. I'm a little nervous, but just because of what might come up. So, Normando, what's... Um, that's the phone phone system. Right. And, I think we're going to need it. This phone system, someone thought, was about 10 years old. Not asking for anything right now, but... Um, so how are we doing with this year's budget? 75 percent spent. And a lot of that's up from contracts, so um, annual fees. Yeah, annual fees. So we still have. Um, let's see. Was that as of the end of January? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we still have another twenty thousand that'll be due for FCAT for the final quarter. Um, I I don't know what else uh, right offhand. Obviously, network maintenance. Um, we haven't I think we've paid historically. We haven't appropriated enough. Yeah, we'll 2016, we did. We were Correct. Okay, we're right on the button, sort of. 2013 is too old to talk about, but otherwise, we've been under appropriated. So, what you've come back to the finance committee for reserve funds on these items? Well, I know you have when I was a consultant. We, <laughs> you came right for that. that was, and we've was, had other, um, I'm probably well, going to come back to you for some of Diane's time. It won't be very much, but we're saving and not having a staff person. So, it's so it'll be a, an appropriation transfer for Our for that. that way. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, but yes, that's that's exactly right. We've had to have reserve fund transfers. Again, I had to do a $72,000. Was the dude? No, that's only. That was that was an increase, an increase. in the in the budget. budget. That was that was due to the fact 2000, that right. 2017 was the first year that we. Forty thousand dollars. That was the first year we had um, peg peg access in yeah. the uh, in the general fund. Right, <coughs> okay. but fourteen you would have had to come back and ask for thirty eight thousand dollars in the finance committee. Mm. In seventeen, right? I yeah. see it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all I, I was here in 14 and we bought the copier then. That was a big, well, we leased, we leased it, but it was still a big cost. I'll just point out that I was not involved in the budget process in 2017. It's all on you. A reserve fund transfer to this, Skip. And Say that again. Do you remember doing a reserve fund transfer? To contracted services for thirty-eight thousand yeah. dollars. I in vaguely fact. remember doing something, but I don't yeah. remember the dollar amount okay. or what it was right. for. For fiscal okay. year seventeen. 17. I don't know what year it was for, okay. either, but I have a vague recollection of having a problem somewhere along the yeah, way. It must be. Yeah, it looks like it's that year. <clears throat> well, as you know, the town has been in a lot of transition, yep. and that was sort of. The tail uh, end of the so transition. so, which year are you looking for? Seventeen? No, that's fine. I was just yeah. curious because if we go over, we're gonna, they're going to come back and ask for 
transfer. Well, yeah, I, I was going to say you can you can That's see fine. in fiscal that. in fiscal 17, uh, it was an oversight not to budget for the Siemens contract. It was an oversight not to budget for the FERCOG emergency communication system, mm -hmm. an oversight not to budget for general code publishers. You see that there's a bunch of holes in that yeah. budget for fiscal 17. So. Um, uh, other than that, I, I know part of the, you're right, part of the um, uh, the reserve fund transfer was for you to, to come in as a consultant. That's correct, yes. Right. And I can't remember the dollar amount. 500,000. So. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, anything else on that? I'd like to, s I'd like to find a way to get it down. Why? Myself. What is the one of Do you think any of these things are not justified and needed? Well, we have to do all the network maintenance in one year. This is, well, it, this is this just, is just my computer isn't working. My email isn't working. Yeah. My my computer died. My <laughs> we don't have that capability it's, it's, or those it's skills. It's an IT skill set. consultant because we don't have an in-house in person to help us. And um, it may not cost us that much, but it may. And uh, I'm actually, I've been talking with Sunderland about going out to bid together. And I looked at what they were already looking at, so that's not as much. No, I won't pay that much. <laughs> wow. This is, this is an expensive service. Um, so the only, on the FY17. Yes. Um, it says what we spent. It doesn't have. We don't have no idea what we right. spent on. Right. That's part of the problem. Right. Um, and we can maybe answer that. I don't think it's so critical. If you think I was going to say I don't think it's important, but if as you long as we're in, that, but we're in line this year. I think well, I don't. I don't know. I, what? It, where? Where do we stand at this point? Seventy-five percent. Seventy-five percent expended. Let me double check that. So. And we should be at 67%. No, because a lot of these are, oh, as we were saying, annual fees are not front You can't can judge, judge you based on what we've spent so far. Mm -hmm. And, and it's really... Salaries, we'd worry. <laughs> yeah, well... You know, I could, I could go through and I could prepare a spreadsheet showing you what we've spent on each of these items so far in fiscal 18, if that would help you. Well, I think that's going to be my request next year. Well, no, oh, I... I don't think I'm making work by doing that. I'm not going to add that to my plate. <laughs> Maybe um, an occasional thing, but. <laughs> I'd like to know if, if we're going to do a line on a budget, we need to know what's expended and what's not expended. Uh, yeah. I, a discussion for next year. Yeah. Okay. You can hire somebody else. <laughs> just, uh, we'll have this new plan. Mm -hmm. well, okay. All right, then. We would figure that out. All right. Well, you, 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 you I have another meeting to go to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. That's fine. Can um, we can we put this budget uh, on hold and take it up at the next meeting? And let me know what your questions are. Yeah. I, I, and I will. I, you know, with this we'll one, with this budget, I will I will list out what we've spent so far and in what categories mm -hmm. so that you have an idea. That would help. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Okay, don't have sub accounts, huh? You're limited to the seven digits. Pardon? No, they're limited oh, no, to the no, seven she digits. Can she can. Huh? It's just they're, they're in there. Well, they, no, I'm not limited to seven digits. Each of these, each of these bolded items is a um, uh, is a category. Oh, okay. Within, within that, that you know, okay, you can't go below that though. More detail. I mean, you could, but but it's it's really up to the department head as to whether they need more detail or not. Right. Yeah. No, I'm wondering what the software will do. Okay. Yeah. So, um, just uh, last week's select board meeting approved. Um, you have before your board of health expense. Oh, oh they approved it, as you can see. Um, they, two to one. Um, board of health limit. Yeah, I'm trying to get through the things I might be able to explain before I have to leave. Uh, I'm sorry. Five, 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 I'm sorry. I have them loose right in front of me. I'm sorry. I don't want to. I'll let you find where you need to be. <laughs> you too. So you oh, know, you board of health yeah. expense. Um, Tick testing went up 2500 bucks. Yeah, Carolyn uh, talked about wanting to provide um, uh, tests for 200 people, 200 ticks to be tested, a full range of the multiple diseases that there are, and that was the cost for that. And added back in the 11000 for the mosquito. Why should I pay for 
there's a taxpayer paid for Joe Jones on Upper Road to be tested for ticks. Because I think it would benefit, I mean, for, I, it, okay, I'm going to speak for Carolyn. I would assume it's going to benefit the analysis or the, or the um, information that's being put together on, on our, um, oh, help me out here. Not mosquitoes, ticks now. This is different. Um, okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. She is actually hoping, although I don't know if it's happening, to have it be more of a bug district than a, so that it, it, it does go beyond just mosquitoes. So the public health is changing 15, around 15, that. Yeah. I thought my understanding though was that if you ended up with a tick, you could actually take that down to UMass well, that's and have them test it individually. That. I think you can take, it to, the, think you can take it to the doctor. She is talking right. about the UMass lab doing it, um, doing the testing, but it, there's still a cost to it. It isn't free. The insurance might cover it. Right. Yeah, I don't right. think we should, I mean. Yeah, you, you know. I don't know, I have my own opinion. I don't know how, how far do we get. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the taxpayer should be paying to have people testing. That's my opinion. Well, we approved um, board of, board of health. Ninety five hundred. Just approved ninety five hundred. Should the tax base pay to see if I have cavities in my teeth? Eleven thousand. Yeah. <laughs> <That's exactly. laughs> so any line item can be reduced. I think it's more of the public health than the the um, collective savings to do this. I, I, I will let her explain yeah. her yeah, know, yeah. that. It just, yeah. um, it comes what? to a point of how far do Are we go. Are the yeah. next week? No. So if we have held a meeting in next week, which we will hold a meeting next week, and we take, say, half an hour, maybe a couple members of the board of selectmen come in, come in and talk with us. And about I can your, ask them that. Um, what else might I be able to be helpful with that? Brenda, the plan, planner position, oh, you yeah. want to go into that in any more detail? Uh, what do you want to ask me about that? The, the board did approve it, at the, and the personnel board did as well. That's 175 51 10. Planner position expenses or salary? Salary. salary. And then it's. Left. I mean, how many hours is that? This would, this is. Um, 15, budgeted to allow for up to 30 hours. Um, as we, we had a discussion at the board last week about um, hours and actual pay, and I said, I think what we'll do before we put out the posting for this position is I'll scope the market out and see what, you know who's out there might be looking, if there's communities that wanted to share, etc and get a sense of that before we actually finalize what kind of salary range we'd be posting. So that's So it would be under the amount that's Yes, yes. for this. Correct. Yes. So the... Um, and that'll reduce the $15,000 that we pay to Furcock or Pat Smith's time. Um, so we would be eliminating her more or less from that position? From our in budget, $15, I think... Yes, but I think we would also, you know, I think I mentioned before that, you know, she also gets paid for doing peer review. That is money mm -hmm. that is not town money, that's, you know, developers and other right, yeah. to, so. so we wouldn't see her gone. Right, but she would we still play be, that role. We wouldn't but be she appropriating wouldn't be, money right, for She her. wouldn't be yeah. representing the town in that more or less in that position. Well, as far as the 15,000. She would be assisting the town. Right. Yeah. Exactly. The goal, yes, actually, right. I think that's a good word that you use because I think the difference is with our own person, they can represent the town. Right. With having her as a consultant and working for FERCOG, she can provide assistance, but she can't right. say, I work for the, you know, go right. to a meeting yeah. on our behalf and do the economic development. Mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. glad you actually used it. Mm -hmm. um, the only other. Yeah thing is town office expense. We tabled that last week um, because Number? it's 192-5430. Uh, you didn't hand that out tonight, did you? Nope. That one that one has not changed from uh, from what you have in your book. Um, so that one was approved by the select board last week, and I don't know if you wanted to add anything to that or say anything about that, because remember that had gone up 23% um, this year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, well, 
This is the one oh, staffing. We tabled them last week. Yeah. Oh, that has to do with the increase. town reports. Um, I think we've been, at, I think that was the major town reports, correct? Yeah. Um, that town report is publishing supplies. supplies. Right. Um, it's a small number, but a big Right. Um, so, Town report. I'll just stay with town reports for now. We we hope we can get them printed for that amount. I talked with the board last week about the quality of the town reports, whether they want to have the kind of generic report we had, and hope that we can get a good deal at Staples or wherever. Um, we really scrounged by last year with the, with that amount. Um, we will not be able to. We do not think we'll be able to spend. You know, three thousand dollars or or less on the town report. Just to the get board what we is, currently have. Yeah, the board is happy with con continuing to do it that way. With the, the print, the way it's presented. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I said, well, maybe maybe for the a anniversary year, that would be. We take it to state. Is this, have we ever shot to see if there's somebody else who can do it? Yes, and and Kip had ideas, and I shared all that with Pat, who takes responsibility for that. You know, other printers that, that there are out there. I mean, most towns, and I think this town did for a long time, went to um, getting the press up. The, yeah. And, and there's an, one in Athol that does many, many town reports around the state. And it kept mentioning totally publications, which does a lot of those small newspapers. So there are options to look at. I do believe, and Pat is good at this, price shopping and all of that. And Staples, the thing is with Staples, they can turn it around like that. They have the capacity. They ship it out, but they, they guarantee that you get it back. I don't know where they ship it out. So anyway, that that is there, and Brenda and I we we talked about it a lot, you know, and and we saw we spent a tremendous amount of time trying to get this in on under budget for this year. So um, and for last year. Um, and and as far as the supplies go, historically we've been spending a lot more than four thousand dollars for supplies, so we felt like that needed to be brought up. Um, I know last year when we got to the end of the year, um, we we spent uh, close to the twenty thousand, and actually we spent more than twenty thousand because we actually put some things into the select board budget because we had room in there because they really belong here. Um, so, planning board. <coughs> yeah. Uh, in the planning, the planning board um, account one seventy five fifty four hundred. We had five hundred dollars for planning services. Mm -hmm. Planning mm -hmm. services. Mm -hmm. Jim, we're jumping around. We're running down. Expense. All of a sudden. Oh yeah. Well, we one seventy five. I'm done with ten minutes. I'm. Oh my goodness, I missed that on me. Um. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just a plug number to get them to their thousand that they wanted to spend, uh, or that they felt like was appropriate for spend spending. Which one we on? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, one seventy five dash fifty four hundred. Um, we voted that, that one you already voted on for a thousand about thousand dollars so so what what the planning board has been doing is spending um, out of their revolving fund for uh, Pat Smith's services um, their 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 revolving revolving fund is decreasing um, greatly and very fast um, doing that but um, good they were limited to the thousand dollars for fiscal eighteen, and they agreed that they could do it for a thousand dollars in fiscal nineteen. Also. Okay, so the planner and planning board expense is plan of services is FERCOM, not the new planner. Correct. Okay. That's, Correct. That, yes. That was my yeah. Before I forget, because I, I was flashing through here and I thought, oh, I wouldn't have mentioned this tonight. You know, I sent, I don't know if I sent it to all of you or just, I think I just sent it to Skip, but an invitation for the school wanting to know when you want to meet with them. So, um, do you know if you want to do that or meet with all the towns, uh, so other select boards and finance committees with the school, how do you want to do that? Oh, I remember last year, Lynn Carey asked me, when do you want us to come? Um, so, I, I don't know how you want to work that out, but... Um, they're like waiting to, to hear from the Deerfield. We we have the budget. I haven't seen. Well, the the um, the frontier budget I handed out to everybody last mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the other one, I think you have you have it. The um, elementary school. Elementary, elementary school. Sent it to you? No, actually, uh, Trevor gave oh. me a copy and I wrote down the number and then I gave you the budget instead of keeping it. So what? I did not get it by email that I could Correct. forward on to people Correct. to glance at. Okay. Yeah. And what was the increase in that? Do you remember? I'm so 
Sorry. That was that was a 3.01 percent increase in Deerfield Academy or Deerfield Elementary, and then Frontier was like a 5.39 percent increase. And Trevor at the last meeting said it was 2.88. That's right. Yeah, he said the second go round on the elementary they school was 2.88. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to see it. On the town office expense yeah, for tonight, you. did we decide to? Number Hold that or well, I don't think we decided anything. Number? We were just trying to ask right. any questions while she was still here. Number? But uh, I assume one ninety two one ninety two fifty dash fifty four thirty. <clears throat> we took IT out of it, right? Correct. Correct. That has because its own I'm trying line to item track that yeah. clearly, <clears throat> obviously, and in bold, so we know what we really need to be thinking about in terms of planning for. Uh, Hardware. So the 192 Yeah. So the difference is the 5,000 for the IT hardware and the two bucks. 192 yeah. 5430? Right. You had an old one corrected. Yeah. 25,000. IT hardware? Yeah, yeah. really old. You're one. probably looking at the old one, John. 192. Do we get one? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing. I'm yeah, looking no. at that. Well, we've got no, one in here. No, it's the 192 5430 is the one that you've had for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. And then there was an old one. What, what if I'm totally right? confused. I don't see IT hardware on here. No, no, no. There, is the old one. there was on, a, on the original budget we put right together here. for town office expense. We stuck the IT hardware in there, but it's now in its own separate budget, so it's not and we've approved there. that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So, and that was to keep it from being buried. <coughs> it's really front and center, and it cost that. And the IT hardware went to select board. No, it's on its own. No, it's, it's, it's on its own. It's IT hardware, $5,000. So did we miss budget last year? Well, yes, I believe so. <laughs> I'm afraid to for look. Hardware? No, for the town office expense. Um, because I, I I don't see where you're going to get a town report for $2,500. I, I think think it was hopeful, wishful thinking. Um, yeah, I asked to start pricing, getting pricing, but we don't have any pages it is yet or anything. Right. Does everybody have a sheet that has the IT hardware offer yep. for $5,000? I do. I don't have that sheet. Who's handed it out tonight, I think? No, 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 it's not. not. The 192 million dollars for $23,000? Oh, wait. Last week. He's got it. Well, I've got the 5000 IT sheet, yeah, but I don't have the town expense sheet minus the 5000 What was the IT one here? Do you mind if I just give you mine? Sure, that's and fine. And then I have to reprint yeah. for myself. When was the IT so one? Sure that one away. Okay. Uh, I don't Originally, know. that was last week. Originally, I was not here last week. What was okay. the number? Uh, 155-5400. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be that one, John. Are you sure that was right? So it took minutes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about their meeting. Oh, there? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have some. Oh, OPEP. Yeah, OPEP. Take it away, Bruce. <laughs> um, is anybody... Are we going to do anything with the town office expense minus the IT? I'd love to, but you could tell me. Are we going to hold we, we voted the IT last week, right? Yeah. Separately. Yes. Correct. Yeah. Separately. Did okay. you find yours, John? Yeah, I got it. Great. And. I've got to get you all iPads next year for no paper and all right on the. Okay, never mind. Is that the 10000 in the budget? Yeah. For? That would be. So last year, where was the IT or wasn't it? Period. Uh, we had just put it into contracted services for yeah. 2000 bucks. Yeah, I just felt that was a very, I, I don't know. I think we used to, before <coughs> both our times, that we used to have it separate. So uh, it was an article, data special processing. article. Remember that term, data processing? Like, wasn't it under there? Or we still use no, it was, that a separate, it was a separate capital item every year, but okay. it was well under the capital. But this, this it is capital, it's, it's hardware. It's, it's hardware, but you know, you're talking a little stuff. So computers? Yeah, we're right after this year started. Computers, we had two computers go. Mice, UPSs, um, uh, 
<laughs> Mice's mouses. Power supplies, uh, yeah. other electronics that I don't even know what they are. But um, that's why I want to get someone I really trust to depend on to buy. That's the IT hardware. Yes, sir. <coughs> you know, for for instance, uh, Wendy and I, when we had the power go out a couple weeks ago, a month ago, yeah, I wasn't um, here when it happened. Our our computers went down because our uninterruptible power supplies, our UPSs, were not working. So we had to buy new UPSs, and those were 140 a piece. Um, you know, my, back. I didn't my keyboard went out, so I had to buy a new keyboard. That was 40 bucks. You know, so little and, things. And just you know, in the last summer, um, both. Um, a computer in the clerk's office and a uh, computer in our office finally bringing a new staff person in. We needed to re do a switch room and replace a couple of computers. So, um, Why do we, we need try to replace computers? I don't. They die. That's a question I, I want to ask. I can understand the software, but the hardware, I mean, I. Oh, well, I get years well, if you, out of that. If you change, if you change, oh, you change software, software, you may end up having to change hardware yep. because of your software. That is correct. Right. That is a planned obsolescence. The new That's software. The that was the term I was looking yeah. for before. I mean, it used to be like a one gigabyte hard drive right. with, a, with your hardware, and now it's. Oh my goodness, 100. you thought that was huge. <laughs> yeah, right, you did. You know. Now it's 100 and probably an available. Right, uh huh. So, I mean, it's just. There's a big difference from what we do at home. I know, just bought my own computer, and I hope it lasts I only five two, more years. Two or three years old. So I'm talking better about hard drive. I get the so, screen. So, that John, I'm talking about my, my computer. Private two, sector business office. My oh. computer two summers ago, all of a sudden, didn't Every recognize my operating system, and there was no way to fix it. And the housing authority. That's when you need to buy new hardware. Five years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. okay. So, all right. Once. Whatever. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. on. So, on. so which one are we on right town, now? I don't know. Town, town, town expense. expense. Okay. Number. Yes. We've been jumping all over the place. 192. 192 dash 5430. It's the $23,000 uh, budget that you put yes. on hold last week. Are you willing to um, approve it this week with that additional information? What does everyone want to do? Such a small number. I think you should go ahead and make a motion. I'll second it. Okay, it's moved, seconded. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor, town office expenses for $23,000. Say aye. 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 All those opposed, abstentions, I'll abstain. So 301. What's it, the 21st? <coughs> yes. No, it seems like it ought to be the 22nd by now. <laughs> it could be. It's what was it, 301? 301. 301. Yeah. Can we just go right to the next one, which is general insurance, and just include that really quick? That's the one that um, the select board reduced by $4,000, so it's now at $61,000. Um, can, 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 can we get it out? Well, it's it's blue. It's blue, sorry. We'll wait, um, we'll wait for people. We'll I printed before, before Sue good. could get her paper out of the printer. I, I think <laughs> it was a great thing when we all got, found it right away. Um, <laughs> the, this is, look, yeah. you can read it, but it's better than you can do the white. Oh, okay. I'll just let you know. But blue My, paper costs more. <laughs> Let's make it green. I use light blue. The color of money. We, have, we approved it last week. White on black, black on blue. And we reduced it, select board reduced We it. approved it at 65000 last week. So, so is anybody against reducing it to 4000 No. Then we should I make a motion we approve it. Second? I'll second. All those in favor, 61000 So yeah. All right. All right. All right. So 400. Zero, zero. Is that the first vote? Yep. Second. That's the second vote. Right. So I can tear, tear this one out and throw it away. Recycle. Do you, do you want to, since we're on that front page, do you want to do anything with contract and services, which we went through in detail? Uh, I don't at the moment. Okay. Good, so I have more time to add things. <laughs> yes. Um, how about uh, the planner position or the planner position expenses? Neither. Or not. I like more we discussion. Have to right. Okay, so what do you want to know? I will not be here. I'm probably going to Florida on Saturday to tend to my mom, and I don't think I'll be back. I don't know when I'll be back. I'm, I'm hoping to be back on Wednesday. 
So um, I would uh, like to know if you can um, this week what questions you have that I could. Well, with the contract and services, I'm going to put together a spreadsheet of what yeah. we spent so yeah. far oh, compared I'm with the budget. So that oh, with that just, one, yeah, yeah. planner and plan expenses. We've been working together very closely on, on all of the things that I'm talking about. I guess my question, one of the questions I have on, on the plan would be, what have we not been able to do in the last few years that we'll be able to do with this new position? Well, we have had services, yeah, I mean, you, yes. you can, so that's, that's it's, just it's, the question. And Dick has left, is new, has left his position, so we don't have a point person. And it's mostly what, we, what the town hasn't done over a long period of time, and that's try to build the tax base and try to make um, it more of an expedited, uh, let's not use that term, but a streamlined process for people who are coming but into town. I just town. don't see how Dick has done that AD issue. How, how he's well, he does it because he's been the first, he but, in that position of building inspector, yeah, building commissioner, has been the first point of contact many times for, for a new business and expanding business. Okay. Well, I think you too, and, and this will relieve you to do your duty. Well, I still want to be involved, or? yeah, and I expect to be involved and knowledgeable about that. Um, but it's also to move things more quickly, such as whatever you decide will be the priorities for your capital, your real capital projects that you're talking about early in the meeting. Yes, I do see that person not necessarily leading the committee, but helping helping us all with the work so that how we need we to gonna, do on that. How would we um, and we need we desperately need that kind of um, more hand holding with our land use boards than we, we have right at this point. First There's year is a always, lot of falling down in the job, I have to well, say it. I'm just saying it. First year is always difficult to evaluate how this person's mm -hmm. um, made any effect on what these potential outcomes might be, but I think that if we're going to look at this, we're going to need some sort of reporting to the Finance Committee on how this person, what they've done, what they, mm -hmm. I think we need a status report of what they've accomplished, what they're planning to accomplish. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Well, I don't know if we will be able to, we'll all be behind playing, it should be all done by uh, executive session. No, I think that if you'll see some projects, and you mean negotiating with developers about it? Yeah, that? I, I mean, have I'm, any I'm talking to three developers about senior housing right now. Okay. So, so um, when did we hear that today? First time I ever heard that. Is this something we'll hear from I've been reaching out and I've talked to people. them. About to we'll talk to I the said the town isn't going to have No, two private developers. I've talked with the housing authority okay. over the years. And when I've been here, you know, can you meet senior housing? You know, you. We're doing it something. Right. RHA, RHI, whatever it's called. Your subdivision. Right. Yeah. Okay. I just, I'll come up with some questions because I. Hey, one of the questions do. that I've That's got. That's fine. That would be helpful, I think. So I appreciate it. Again, it, you know, it goes to priorities. And as I look down through, and if I just take the first page, and I look at the budgeted items for last year. 2000 of the current year, 2018. We've got $993,000. I go back the year before, it was $820,000 expended. And we've got a thousand, basically $1,100,000 for the for next year. That's a 10% increase. It's a 20% increase over a two year period. Uh, you talk about not sustainable, it's, it's a problem. Well, a couple things. Um, I think that hiring me at, at this nice salary, and thank you very much, I'm hoping that with my, my position here, we've got some more stability. My goal is to, these things that have been lingering and lingering and lingering that we've talked about, we're moving those along. Everything from the general bylaws to the personnel policy, to uh, get this planner position, which actually, as I said, was coming from all kinds of other sources. Um, it wasn't particularly my initiative, mm -hmm. but um, wanting, I'm needing a partner, a professional partner in the building to work with me on some of these projects that have been talked about and talked about, from, you know, the sewer project. Um, the library's moving on its own until you, it, until and unless it doesn't move on its own. Um, but, um, you know, that we now have the church, um, what we're going to do with that. Um, and um, 
I do hope that this investment is in bring it will result in better government, uh, better uh, services for the community, um, opportunities for other resources, grants, and um, income from community economic development, business growth, whatever. I have the RFP. I, I, did I say this already for the parcel? Yes. Um, what is there's another thing that I wanted to talk about that was related to that. Um, I don't know. But at any rate, um, I just think you have to invest money to make money. And we've been lingering and lingering without direction, without commitment to a number of major projects. It's looming and looming and looming. And I'm as committed as I can be to, to moving those forward. And um, you again, you have to prioritize, but we have to be ready to move on those. Here's what or they'll I, just get more expensive. Here's what I do know. With, we've got a budget, give or take, we call it $15 million. Say the schools are 10 million of them. Town is 5 million. Somewhere along the way, we have 2.5 to 3% that we can increase the budget. The schools are going to get there at 2.5 to 3%. On the $5 million, 2.5% is $125,000. 3% is $150,000. On this front page, there's the hundred thousand. Yep. So, you know, somewhere along the way. Plus, you have capital on top of that. We've got. A, I don't know what's going to happen to capital. Uh, we haven't talked about capital, uh, and I don't know how we are going to pay for this. Now, we can say, oh, we've got, we've got. Uh, free cash that we can use, and that's true. The problem is the free cash doesn't, it's not a reoccurring number. The reoccurring numbers are taxes, local receipts, and state aid. And those are going up at most two and a half to three percent. So if we want to do some of these things, uh, for example, uh, the, this new position and the benefits that go with it, and the, the costs that go with it. Maybe this is something that the selectmen need to be prepared to put it on town meeting as a two and a half override. Yep. Okay. So that we can raise the taxes to, to cover the position in the future. <clears throat> can we, in today's world of spreadsheets, no, can we have right something that spreadsheet so we walk in here and see where hey, we stand? What was your question? I want to have an override for a single position? I want to have an override. If you want to take the money from someplace else, then that's something else. But if we're going to increase the spending uh, above and beyond two or two and a half percent, I want to have an override. Uh, it's, it's a problem. Uh, yeah, we can, pay, we can pay for the money this year because we've got a fair right. chunk of free cash. Sutherland got themselves in trouble a few years ago and probably are heading in that way in the future because, you know, they're used, they just didn't keep track of, and, and I don't want to head that way. Uh, so if we, need, if we need our revenue boosted, then let's ask. Well, we, I guess we, I, we talked a bit about this today, <coughs> revenue. Um, we really just have to look at that clear, clearly. We shouldn't ask for an override unless we... Need an override. We should be sitting here knowing. We need an override. We need an override. We, you, we've, you, you're saying we're going to increase their, our spending in excess of the two and a half and three percent. Right. And it's got. And this is this is this is not. You know, if we were taking, a, if we were talking about buying a piece of capital equipment, and you could say, well, we can do that capital equipment. We could do a debt exclusion on that, or we could take it from free cash. Essentially, you know, just bypassing the debt exclusion, but it's a one-shot deal. But when you're talking about adding a position in a department or expanding a department, that's not a one-shot deal. That's so fifty or a hundred thousand dollars, and at some point in time, you know, I looked at it, and I may be talking, saying something that's not necessarily true, but 
going to talk about expanding that to a full-time position. This thing that's now costing us $50,000 is going to be 75, or if it's 75, it's going to be 100. Those things the town needs to say yes or no to. That's my two cents worth. Sure, and, and I, I agree, and I'm not, maybe Deerfield is a unique community with our population size. We all are. But I look at other communities. We're a big, small town, as they say. But when I, when I, when I when we're a bigger, big town. We're, we're a big, small town, is what we are. We're, not, we're bigger than Montague, staff wise, in the town office. There's one secretary for the board of selectmen, and there's a town administrator, and there's a, there's a planner with an assistant, not full time. So we have we have three. Right, wait, the board of health. It's not just selectmen. Board of health, board of health, has, CBA, board of health conservation, has, board of conservation health, is down there. Board of health has. Yeah, and we have that all. Bernie consolidated all of those administrative. Services. You're saying we're about equal, or we have more staff than town one. In, in office staff. It might not be all full time, but I, I'm looking at a community that's over 12,000, we're about 5,000. They have three people in the clerk's office. Yeah, and they're a little over 7,000. 7,000. Are they eight? Yeah. So well, they're, they're no more than 50% larger than we are, but they are closing in on it. They're in that range. Right. So you would have to think, well, if they're 50% larger, they would typically have 50% more staff. You would think, but they don't. I think we're pretty close to being equal. Bottom line, I said before, and, I've, and I'm so hearing it from more and more, well, that's what and I'm hearing, hearing about it more from more and more people is that, you know, we throw the figure two and a half percent, three percent, but in actual dollars, when you take a look at your taxes, they've been going up, and I mentioned this before, uh, basically a minimum of about 5% up and they've been doing that for several years and people are finally starting to sit up and take notice of their taxes and how much it's costing them and there's con some concern out there so you know when you throw out the two and a half percent or whatever the case may be in actual dollars to a lot of the residents it's more like five plus percent well it's just it's going to be 3.76 percent just just at the two and a half percent plus your your um, debt exclusions. Mm -hmm. that's, that's and and the and the new growth figure. That's tax right. dollars. Yeah. And that's without capital items, right? Correct. But it has well, nothing to do with capital. Yeah, but that's that's just, just that's the revenues. That, and that's fine. The problem is, yeah, what's what's happening to the uh, the tax base? It's not it's not expanding, and it appears to be contracting. We have a three or three and a half percent increase in, in, and last year was about the same. And what we ended up doing is we increased the tax rate by four percent. We should not have had to, we had those, that three or three and a half percent increase in, in, in taxes required a four percent increase in the assess the rate the tax rate because someplace along the way necessarily mm -hmm. the assessments dropped mm -hmm. that's the problem that we're running into now why did the assessments drop I haven't the slightest idea I can point fingers and say that you know we, we we've got the uh, private schools yeah. buying up property well that would be some yeah but I don't think that's all of it. I don't think that's all. Of it. I mean, your business closed down over mm -hmm. five and ten. Mm. Like I said, my 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 taxes have in the last four years have gone up a little over a thousand dollars. In my assessment, has gone down about twenty five to thirty thousand mm. dollars. So it doesn't always work where. Well, if your taxes go up, better schools, better police, better this, better that, your assessment, your valuation of your house is going to go up too. Not true. Well, even when even, you take a look at the numbers, that's even not if it happening. Does, even if it does, right? Uh, it's just keeping pace with, right? And it's not keeping pace now. Yeah, it, it's the tax, and as you tax, pointed out, Skip, it's yeah. not going to be sustainable. What I would say is this is true in almost every community. Mm -hmm. I well, just, I, don't know I just heard our budget in Northampton. 
they're $800,000 short. We passed an override two years ago. The override was, maybe along the lines you're thinking, it, it was a rainy day fund override that there would be extra money available for the mayor and the council to work with, anticipating over the next five years that they need to draw upon that. And wouldn't come back for five years from the <laughs> override. Guess what? Well, that's a reset. That's a reset. Mm. Right. Yeah, right. So, I mean, I think it's needed. Right. We need to reset. I know we have to live within it, and it's the law, but we all know that 2.5% is an arbitrary number that's 35 years old or whatever it is now, and... But 5% isn't all. an arbitrary number when you're paying your taxes. No, that, that's, you know, I'm not saying right, that yeah. taxes aren't right. more, you know, a more of a burden for people. I'm not saying that. Well, but, but, but I am that? saying that this is not... This is what every community says. We're not no. special in that right. regard. In, in the arguments that we, we've had over the past yeah. couple of years dealing with uh, the compensation plan, I spent an inordinate amount of time looking at the compensation plan, looking at uh, you know what is it that's driving the cost, and, and we can talk about you know the, the four or five percent increase on an annual increase in steps, but. Eventually, everybody hits the top, and once you hit the top, the only thing you've got left that's driving the cost of the uh, of, of salaries is your cost of living increase. It's good for so, a couple of years, but once that happens, everybody's going to have a new compensation plan that's going to start over again. Well, we're going to bring not, everybody. Not, we're going to bring well, everybody look, back into. Okay, okay, let's let's hang on a second. Let me finish where I'm going. Uh, so, if if it's What's happening at the top step, and it may be a new compensation plan, but it doesn't have to be. But if we do adopt one, it does. It, sure, it will throw that up there, and we, again, it's the top salaries that are really having the impact. The other one uh, that we, that has the biggest impact is adding staff. And over the past 10 years, I'm willing to bet, I haven't done it, but you go back and you look at what the staff that we had 10 years ago, number-wise, and the staff that we've got today, ten, you know, number-wise, we have substantially more staff today, or we have more staff today than we had 10 years ago, and we don't have a larger population in town. So, and if we no, want to increase no that... Services. Well, yeah, it, it may be someplace, but you know, if we want Pretty to increase, uh, right if we need to increase mm -hmm. staff, or if we need a, a new position, we we should be going back and looking at what we've got. Is there something that we can do without? And if we can't, then let's go to town meeting and say we need this new position. You vote it. You give us the money to fund it, going out to the future. If the selectmen aren't willing to do that, I'm not they willing to. They might, they might be. It just has. A, I don't know, but I, I need to go check. Okay. Yeah, uh, we got ten more minutes. I'm leaving at seven thirty. Okay. Uh, I mean, listen, and you won't have a quorum. So, we got a couple of other budgets that we we can. Yeah, we'll I just go. Sure. We'll see that. Uh, Call me after. after we do yeah, the I'll other budget right at the definitely. end. Just try to coordinate with the uh, finance committee, the capital improvement. Just to give you a, a quick little update as far as meetings, so we know maybe we can work out. When do you expect to have a capital improvement? Uh, we should. We should. You're pretty close. Get into it now, right? We are. We're very close. First, first meeting in. Uh, we have a two meeting. Weeks on, oh, I got it. We have a meeting on the 27th of February which is next Tuesday. And that should pretty much do us as far as the requests go. And then we have a public meeting being set up with the uh, select board that's required by the uh, bylaws on Wednesday, March 14th. And that's at 5.30. The select board has a meeting at 6 that starts, so we figured we'd meet with the select board. But I also want to meet with the 
finance committee and I didn't know what would work best for the finance committee. I didn't know if people, if you were planning a meeting on the 14th, if the finance committee just wanted to join that meeting. We could. I was just wondering if you, so I presume that you're going to have a number by the 7th. Yeah. By yeah. the, right, we should have, if, we, if you want us to meet with you on the 7th, we could do that too. Does that sound reasonable? Because I, I should be able to, I, the only thing is I'm going to have to run it by the committee because, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know who could make the 7th or not. I don't know if we need the whole committee there or just a couple of people for an update with the finance committee. Okay, if you could do that, uh, I would appreciate it. What time are you planning on meeting the 7th? Uh, what time can you be there? We can be here. We've been meeting at 5.30. So if we met at 6.30? What's that? No, no, I mean, I mean, we could meet with you, the <coughs> finance committee, at 5.30. Oh, okay. Uh, if you wanted to do that. normal meeting time. Right. We it's could, our normal meeting time. It's our normal meeting time. Right. So, so well, we could slide in, do a quick time. presentation at the beginning, and then be done with that, we meet and then we week? could go on? Yes, 28. We're going to meet on the 28th. Okay. You want to meet at 530? That's fine with me. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we'll do 530 <coughs> with Finance Committee on the 7th. Uh, there is one budget, there are two, but one that I'd like to take up and take a look at. The Tilton Library, We've gone through their budget again. They came back and, and gave us a reduced budget. And they went back to level services. And uh, it is up 7%, but uh, that is primarily based on the uh, uh, salaries. Salary and books. Books and had books. to go up based on, yep. on the budget total. So. so salaries are roughly 5%. Plus a 2% plus a 2%, well, no, 3% plus 2% COLA, and the books are, are uh, $2,000, so that's a little over 1%, 1.5%. So call it 6% in salaries, and, and uh, which would be 4 and 2. Mm -hmm. So they didn't, they <clears throat> did not increase the hours? Nope. No. Yeah, she went back. I think the numbers have been straightened out a little bit, so there actually is more dollars. For example, uh, if you look down the salary items, uh, you'll see some some differences, increases yeah. there, but they're they're minor. Thirty two hundred um, is an increase in funding from Tilton Fund. Yeah, thirty two hundred the decrease. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> So if there, if you have more questions on it, if not, I'd like to go ahead and vote this and make Sarah happy and thank her for. No, well, they did reduce it and they did do the level fund, which was basically what yeah. we asked. It was still, it's a little more than what right. I would like. And part of it was, be, you know, well, part of it's because of the salary schedule. Mm -hmm. You know where that's really going to show up? That salary schedule, just to forewarn you, that's going to show up in the EMS skims. Yeah. With the overtime too, that's yes. going to be that's going to be a fairly large number. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll move to uh, accept the Tilton Library budget. I still don't understand. Okay, go ahead. You're making a motion. I'm sorry. Okay. That's I'll, I'll second it. What's your question, John? Assistant four is going up. Up to sixty three sixty five and twenty seven fifty six. I think she's just act more accurately reflecting what's what what the hours were. Yes. I don't. I think she missed it um, last year. That's that's the way I understand it. The hours are the it. same. And the the year before. Okay. Uh, those those numbers were in there. I don't know how. It, it was just sloppy budgeting. Oh, so so it's it's yeah. you know. And I don't know where they got the money to pay for. 
tr the trust. I yeah, think, yeah, I think, I think the, the Tilt trust. Fund and, the, fund um, must have stepped and the state aid, she just had to dip into it a little more than what she intended. That's, we don't know what the state aid number is when we look on Cherry Street. Mm -hmm. So she did not spend all that, she banks some of it. Yeah, it's 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 in a it's in a fund. Uh, there's certain things that she can spend it on, and certain things that she can't spend it on. Um, so I know she watches that closely. We have a motion. We have a second. Uh, all those in favor of the Tilton Library Fund is presented eight hundred eighty-one thousand seven hundred six dollars. Aye. 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 Opposed. Zero. Extension zero four zero zero. Uh, I'd like to talk more about OPEB, but I do have to go. I have a I was commitment. Say, I, I, I had to go a half hour ago and I didn't, so. So you'll be happy to get out of here now? Yes. Okay. Very happy. Um, Can I make a comment? You all, you all have a copy Absolutely. of the policy, right? I, I gave you that. Some yeah. Place. yeah. Okay. Um, just to let you know that this policy looks like the policy that I brought to the committee last week. Mm -hmm. um, Barbara emailed me and said there was some things she liked about it and things she didn't like about it. I agreed with her, but it was only me, not the finance committee. But what it was presented to the select board for the approval it was inferred, but not spoken, <laughs> that the finance committee recommended this. And I just want to be clear. That was not the case. Did you was that stated to the fact to I the, can't imagine to the that board? anybody would have done that? It was not stated either way. <laughs> wasn't stated and maybe we out. should maybe it we wasn't should even make stated it. How, it, it was in and when they discussed it, it was stated that maybe it was a, a, a committee's how why how did the committee get to four percent? Bye bye. Thank you, Thank you. Brenda. Thank you. Maybe we I'll should try to check it. with you tomorrow if I can remember. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe we should just go to the select board and make one or it two, clear right? that it's not the finance committee. I, I think we can do that in the next month vote. And I'm still going to vote for the number that I proposed. Which is the number here? Is that what I, you? I don't know. I totally have 30, 35, 36 thousand. Something like that. And yeah. you're going to vote against it. I'm so strong. But I, I, the only reason I felt that it made sense was because it was based on something. Whether we put money in or not, it's up to you guys. I hear what you're saying. But I just don't want it presented that this. The Finance Committee made the recommendation. We have been. We were asked to make a policy discussion. Mm -hmm. Have a policy. They were, they were supposed to review it and prepare a policy. They didn't do any of that other than adding one word to the policy that I submitted to them. But they put and I didn't submit it to them. They took it from here. And Xerox it and email it up. Do you want to very quickly vote the minutes? Yeah. Uh, yes, I do. I'm sorry. Should have yeah. done that before. So. All right. Are there any corrections, Cruz? I don't remember any. <laughs> okay. So we have uh, we have the minutes from last week's the 14th, right? Yeah, 14th. Um, yeah. Can I have a motion? I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes. Is there a second? John. Mm. Well, I'd like I'd to see some stuff in here about the open funding issues. I don't think it's all in there. Probably Put it on, but it's something we didn't vote. We didn't, so didn't take a vote. We didn't take a vote. So it doesn't happen. Uh, also, I just want to back up. I was not here last week, so mm -hmm. I'm yeah. still allowed to make the motion. Yep. Okay. I think so. If you want. As long as, I mean, if you want, I'll, you can change that and put me down. So right. I made the motion. Right. And whoever's seconded is John Bruce. Yeah, uh, I'll second that. Okay. I'll second my own minutes. Uh, sure. That's fine. All those in favor of accepting the minutes that is presented? All right. Aye. Aye. I have to abstain. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Is that screwed no, up? No, I, don't okay? so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Otherwise, we'd all have to pass it, wouldn't we? It's four. Okay, uh, motion to adjourn. I'll so second. Moved. Seconded. That one, I'll aye. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 